When a man makes a pilgrimage to the fields and woods of his boyhood, he does not expect to find the hills and mountains dissolved or the valleys moved. If other men have not torn up the land to build factories and towns, he expects his children to see the hills and swales as his forefathers saw them. And he is almost right. Probably neither he nor the children will ever notice that in 50 years, the surface of the ground has been lowered perhaps a fraction of an inch. Why should they? But they might not be surprised to find that the old mill pond behind the dam is now more mud than water.